Have you ever wondered how we look for life throughout the solar system? Well, the answer is through biomarkers. And a biomarker is any evidence of past or present life. And they're used to look for and study the origins, existence, and remnants of life in our solar system. Now, if we don't observe life directly, we have to know how it functions in order to tailor how we look for it and know what we're looking for. I would like to demo this through dance. So in ballet, we have a set repertoire of steps. If you ever took a class growing up, you likely know what a plie is or that there are five basic positions of the feet. If we happen to leave behind a trail, say from having paint on our shoes, you would be able to use knowledge about how each step works to determine from the print left behind what the original step was. Here's an example. This is Ricky, a principal with the Sarasota Ballet, and he is demonstrating a tendu from first position, front, side, back, and side. This image shows marks left behind from the step you just observed. Brush strokes in three directions show a tendu was executed front, side, and back. And the four dots in a line indicated the step was initiated from first position. One specific type of biomarker is a fossil. A fossil is, a, is cellular remains that have been left behind. By examining the features and patterns of the fossils, as well as the context of surrounding material, we can determine information about the life that existed. Just like in the context of ballet, these marks you see before you are evidence for tendu front, side, and back. Here's an example of a different step, called a ronde jambe, which leaves a distinctly different mark. Here you can see the distinctly different rounded shape imposed on top of the tendu marks. This illustrates the point that two different mechanisms can leave distinctly different trails. Now, there's more than just one type of biomarker. We talked about fossils, but there's also textural fabrics and sediments, such as stromatolites, minerals whose deposition was changed by the presence of life, biogenic biomarkers, such as organic matter, like lipids made by life, isotope patterns, such as variations in the use of carbon-12 and carbon-13. Carbon-13 has one extra neutron, meaning that it takes a little bit more energy for life to break the extra bond to use it. Therefore, life typically shows a preference for carbon-12, and by examining the relative abundance of carbon-12 and carbon-13, we can get an idea of whether life was present. Finally, there's atmospheric constituents, such as oxygen. Currently, there are no known sources of large quantities of oxygen except life. Now, here's another example of a step, a pirouette. As a disclaimer, trying to dance in paint is akin to trying to dance on a slip and slide. However, I wanted to show this particular step because of the circular marks that it makes with the paint. A lot of information can be gathered here. By looking at the circle, you can tell how balanced the dancer's turn was. A larger circle indicates the dancer's center was shifting while turning. Here is another example of a tendu, this time performed by a different dancer. The marks made by two different dancers look very similar doing the same step, which just goes to show that even though there is a lot of information revealed by these marks, there might still be some unknowns. In the context of biomarkers, sometimes there could be two causes of one marker. For example, methane could be caused by organisms using methanogenesis, or abiotically through volcanoes. Now, the lift shown in this photo does not require the ballerina to touch the ground, thus not leaving a footprint or mark to interpret demonstrating that this method of obtaining information still has gaps and a new method would be needed to better piece together the puzzle of steps performed. As our knowledge and technology regarding the search for life outside of Earth is constantly improving, 
new and refined methods are sure to reveal a clearer picture of the worlds around us in the coming years.